you're looking to add fish to your fish tank for the very first time this is the video for you i'm just off to the fish shop now and when we get back we'll add them together one of the best parts of fish keeping let's go fish shopping it's the best day of the year the best day of the year treat yourself treat yourself you're gonna treat yourself treat yourself treat yourself treat yourself i'm gonna treat myself it's the best day of the year hey everyone welcome back to sl30 aquatics let's see what i treated myself to just gonna open up my insulating fishy carrier and in that bag is four tiger barbs to add to the tiger barb tank like with a lot of things in fish keeping everyone has a different way so i don't like putting the bags from the fish shop in my tank so i'm going to decant some water so i had originally only intended to add three more tiger barbs to this tank but when i pulled out three from the shop there was only one left so i thought might as well give the fourth one a good home as well so the most important thing to do first is to match the temperature in the bag to the temperature of your tank so you do that by floating the bag in the bucket about seven minutes ish after that open the bag and roll down the sides this will make the top of the bag float and as the bag gets heavier it means that it won't pull it underwater then you need a small cup to add a small amount of water at each interval and for that i use a shot glass so now we're going to start adding our tank water to the bag of water that the fish are currently in so we're going to add two shot glasses of water and then we're going to leave it seven minutes and this is one of the places that alexa can help you with fish keeping i'll leave a card up top to that video when it comes out so again we need to add two more cups of water then reset your timer for another seven minutes and wait then again seven minutes later we need to add another three cups of water to the bag with the fish by this point the water in the bag is probably 50 percent from the shop and 50 percent from your tank so they're slowly acclimatizing. It's always good to have a quick check in the bag to make sure that the fish are okay and that there's no visible signs that they're freaking out or becoming stressed. If they are, you need to slow down the rate at which you're adding your tank water to the bag or maybe even switch to the drip method, which I'll leave a link to in the top corner. It's again time to add some more water to the bag. Again, add three cups or three shot glasses of tank water to the bag with the fish again reset your stopwatch for seven minutes and wait for that time while you're waiting let me know which fish you treated yourself to in the comments below so again it's time to add some more water and this time we're going to add four shot glasses of water i'll take this shot from above so that you can see what's going on as you add more water the bag sits down more in the bucket but because of the wrap we created earlier the opening stays at the surface and stops the bag getting flooded Seven minutes later, it's time to release the fish into the whole bucket. And cleverly, the only bit I can't do twice is the only bit that I've recorded with my camera the wrong way around. Why, God, why? <laughs> so we're going to really carefully tip the fish and all the water into the bucket, removing the plastic bag completely. And just a quick tip, if the wrap that you made earlier went under the water at any point, it will then be full of water, so be careful as you're taking it out give it a good shake and then again leave the fish in the whole bucket of water for about five minutes and depending on what fish you got it's at this point that they might try and jump out so you might want to use a tea towel or a dishcloth to just cover over the bucket and to avoid the other fish being interested in them straight away turn off the tank light before you add them in so by this point they're going to be pretty well acclimatized but we don't want to put any of the shop water in our tank and therefore we need to use the net. Depending on how confident you feel, you can net them out one at a time or all together. This is the most stressful part for the fish. So if you find that you're chasing them around the bucket for a long time, or they're trying to jump out of the water, then stop, give them some time in the bucket to calm down and then try again later. The time in the net has to be as stress-free as possible for the fish. So we're gonna try and release them as quickly as possible out of the net so that they're in the tank to explore. There's the new ones there, one there, and then there they are, scalding up with the existing ones already. So they're fitting in quite well. And one thing to bear in mind is, if a fish is likely to jump, they're most likely to jump out of the tank as soon as you put them in. So if you've got a lid, you need to cover them up. And then I'll put the light back over the tank 
but at this point I do not want to turn it on and I'm actually going to leave the light off for at least an hour a bucket of water that's now a mixture of fish shop water and tank water is waste and that can just be thrown out and after an hour you can put the aquarium light back on and now sit back and enjoy your new fish click on the top button to subscribe or the bottom button to take you to the how to for beginners playlist don't forget to comment and tell me which fish you treated yourself to. Thanks for watching.